I, uh, you know what? We, we only have uh, three minutes with Gene Simmons. Oh, that's but it. the Rosenbergs. Yeah, all right. I so can let me hang out. I'm here. I don't have to do a CNN thing. The Ro- <laughs> let me, uh, you'll stay here all day. <laughs> Meet the Rosenbergs. You may not know their faces, but chances are you've heard their pop tunes on shows like Dawson's Creek and the current CBS drama Joan of Arcadia, where the song Birds of a Feather brought these two together. together. The Rosenbergs have also shared the stage with No Doubt and The Strokes. From NBC Studios in New York City, it's Last Call with Carson Daly. Tonight on the show, house band The Rosenbergs. And now, here's your host, Carson Daly. Rosenbergs, everybody, our house band. Here's their album right here, which you can pick up. Thank you, guys. Sounds very good on the show. Appreciate it. This is the CD, of course. Uh, it's right here. It's uh, Department Store Girl. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Available everywhere for people. Absolutely. Okay. Positive. Fantastic. I Thank think. You, we'll be right back with Vivian Green for Rosenbergs. He is a songwriter and lead vocalist of the Rosenbergs. Their new CD is Department Store Girl. Love the explanation of why you wrote about that. David Fagan. Dave, how are you, sir? Good. Thanks for coming. Now, Davey, you had a a beautiful uh, encapsulation of the current state of the music Uh, that I read once (laughs) and made me laugh very hard. Um, What'd you tell the people that? Well, basically, my take on the music industry these days is if a reporter walked up to Jessica Simpson and said, did you know that Beethoven was deaf? She'd say, oh, really? That poor dog. Just because, just because Fagan's a mellow cat, we shouldn't take advantage of him here. Jump in here, Fagan. Well, Dennis. <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts on this, David? <laughs> Well, Dennis, uh, being a musician, which qualifies me as an expert on the oil and gas industry, uh, I would say that, uh, personally, I can't wait until gas reaches $50 a barrel or $50 a gallon because it's going to force us to explore other natural resources for for fuel. I love that idea. He's beautiful. He's just... Very beautiful. That's it. The only time anybody in this culture reacts with ingenuity is when somebody can make a buck off it. That's necessity, what makes us great. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? Yes, we run it into the ground. That's right. I have an SUV now. It's a hybrid SUV that sucks hybrid cars up into its grill. <laughs> and, uh... So Wheel Concepts is the largest auto customizing place on the East Coast. I know you have a huge passion for the Britney 2, which I've learned is the name of your car. Yeah. But I know what you like, and I see you looking at it now. <laughs> and we got the cold air in Thank God this semester's over. I'm spent. Yeah. Who's got the Grand Slam Wham Bam Thank You Man? That would be me there, sweet lips. Two cream-covered buns, a lovely pair of well-formed melons, and a sweet, sweet piece of pie.
name's Janine Garofalo, and I'm here with Ed Helms, sitting in for Sam Cedar on the Ed majority Ed Helms. <laughs> What made you decide to write a song called Ed Helms? This is the. This <clears throat> Who is, the hell is Ed Helms? Ed Helms from The Daily Show. Ed Helms from The Daily Show. Oh, no, uh, the Carson Daily Show? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, where you're the house band right. all week? I Don't just, get I, flipping about I, to I, Carson hey, Daily. Hey, FYI, Ed Helms is one of the hosts tonight, and you're a guest, so. <laughs> Why don't you just get up and walk out of here? You know what? Give me my you're check. You get uppity. Give me that check. I'm after. <laughs> hey, so am I. Are you? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Yo, snap! You got Boy, me. Boy, he he really. <laughs> Are you? I'm not. I watch the news, waiting for a signal from you. It could be you. It should be soon. We got me to play. Rosenberg CD, Mission U, is available at stores everywhere. If people want to find Rosenberg's, how do they find it?